What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Road Shank Redemption. We're going to be playing some more light platinum this time around. Um, in the last episode, we defeated the water type gym leader. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be progressing on to Dardusk City, which has a very ominous sounding name and I'm definitely excited to get to. So, uh, Let's go and switch Tanzan in the front. Uh, and we're going to battle this person. Training is a strong national park. Oh crap. <laughs> That's not good. Youngster Felipe. I like the name. And that's not really impressive. I'm not impressed. Should probably be using Fan Attack actually because it does more damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> By the way, I should say I went in and uh, picked up some max repels, healed up, and deposited finally Pichu and Chikorita. Um, Alright, that's great. I should have gotten some full heals too, because this sleep thing is really annoying. Great. We just need like one attack, and it's using a five hit move! Perfect! And it's probably gonna crit every time too. Oh, it didn't crit every time. But yeah, it's probably gonna hit five times, so yeah. Yep, five times. Come on, Tenzin, wake up. Oh, uh, kill me. The sleep moves are actually like really annoying in this game. A lot, a lot, there are a lot of Pokemon carrying sleep moves, like Grass Whistle, Sing, all that kind of stuff. I'm really hoping this kills. If it doesn't, it'll be annoying. Yep, there we go. Okay, good. Good. Um, Corfish. Uh, yeah, we'll stay in. What the heck? Corfish's special defense isn't particularly good, so Faint Attack should be doing a lot. And they are stabbed, too, so probably like a 3 hit KO. Or close to a 2 hit KO, I guess. Corfish and Kron are awesome. Kron is scary with adaptability. Oh man. Adaptability to Life Orb, Aqua Jet, or even like Choice Band, it's really like terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really glad Kron's gotten better in the recent generations. It was never really that good in like Gen 4, for instance. And he has a freaking full restore. These battles just like take so long in this game. <laughs> That's like one, like, it's definitely like one complaint I have. Like, the battles take a really long time because of all, like, the healing items and, like, the singing and stuff and, like, the putting to sleep. It's just, like, not fun. Alright. Get on with it. Pain attack. Finally, this thing's dead. I mean, yeah, this guy had only two Pokemon, but that fight took quite a bit of time, actually. And I guess it doesn't help that Tenzin is, like, is, like, kind of weak. I mean, doesn't really hit too hard. We should give the XP share to Tenzin. Take East commendable. Commendable? My technique is flawless, my friend. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the XP share and give it to Tim. So, I just found out some uh, kind of sad news today. Um, alright, EXP share given, okay. Um, uh, I'm not really sure why I'm hearing about this only now, because uh, apparently this news has been out for a while, but uh, one of my favorite mangas, Akame Got Kill, is ending. It's entering, entering its last arc, and I'm kind of sad because. I really, I really enjoy that manga. It's like pretty much been my favorite for like, for like a good deal of time now. Um, and it's just kind of sad that it's already ending. I mean, it's only like you know, it's only like on like f chapter fifty six, so or something like that, fifty five or fifty six. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Uh, if we were smart, we wouldn't stay in. Um, but I'm not smart, so we're staying. In. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this decision, am I? It's probably just gonna like pull earthquake out of its ass and destroy me. Oh, no, sand attack. The dreaded sand attack. Alright, flame wheel. But yeah, if any of you guys out there are like avid manga readers or like fans of manga, then let me know. Um, and definitely recommend some good series. Uh, like right now, um, I'm reading a comic I kill. I'm trying to catch up on One Piece. Um, and I'm like in the 300s right now. It's just like, it's really hard to get through 700 chapters. One Piece is good though, I really like One Piece. Um, I mean, I already finished, like, reading Naruto. I'm kind of reading Bleach, although it's kind of getting... It's getting a little bit uninteresting at this point. Um, but yeah. I've also heard that there are, like, some... I've also heard that Attack on Titan is really good, and I do plan on, like, getting into that eventually. Uh, yeah. Let's kill this thing with... We'll do use another Water Pulse, just because he's probably going to use a full Restore. Camper Manuel. That's a really weird name. I think he just mistyped and he meant to say Manuel. <laughs> but you know. 
Wow, you couldn't have just done like a little bit more damage and killed Malatic? Oh my gosh. I also used a rare candy on Malatic, by the way, in case you guys are wondering why it's level 33 now. I had one, so I figured I would. Because Malatic also the slowest growing, so like in terms of getting like... Um, in terms of like using my rare candy to the fullest, Katara is definitely the choice. Alright, level 30, awesome. Manuel, your technique is commendable. Wow, these people all just say commendable. Uh, let's talk to this person. I'll give you a reward. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. Wait, what does the light ball do? Wait, okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's the Pikachu item. Shoot. Fortunately, we're not using Pikachu, so. My Pokemon like being in the park. Okay, cool story. Alright, uh, I don't really actually care. Ooh, bug type Pokemon though. That could be interesting. Um, if we could find like like a Galvantula or something, a nice bug electric type, that would be perfect for my team right now. Abra, okay. I figure I'll just check out the Pokemon here, by the way, that's why I'm like running around the grass. Uh and we might as well kill this thing, get some nice special attack EVs and some experience for Growlithe. Wow, that health went down quickly. But yeah, like, Gal I, I was thinking about it, and like, Galvantula would be perfect for my team. Uh, we'll see if we can find one more Pokemon in here. I'm curious to see what, what they've got around here. Uh, just a Starly, okay. I think that's enough exploring for now. I'll come back and see if there's any, like, cool Pokemon around. But yeah, like, Galvantula would be a really interesting option. Definitely Roseray would be interesting, and, uh, if, um, if we could find one of those soon. Uh, cause I really like Rosé. I've, I've used it quite a bit, but, you know, it's just so awesome that I'm okay with using it again. <laughs> uh, and we'll keep my rod in front. I've been- I've beaten many trainers in the National Park. Alright. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take a swig of water. Ugh. Joaquim. Alright. This thing should just die to a flamethrower. I feel like I use Growlithe so much. Growlithe and Milotic get the most use out of all the Pokemon on my team. Tenzin's also really useful. Krogunk... Eh. Sorry, Krogunk. You need to evolve. It's nothing personal, you just need to evolve. <laughs> Alright, level 32. Wow, we're getting up there in the levels. Level 32 for like only 3 gyms is actually a like very high level now that I think about it. I feel like we're gonna be in like the 80s by the time we're at the champion. I'm also interested to see what kind of legendaries we can catch in this game. I mean, we've already seen, well, obviously we've seen Arceus, we've also seen uh, Giratina, Dialga, and Palkia, and we've also seen Groudon and Kyogre. I want to say he just like included all the legendaries in this, right? I mean, I haven't, I haven't really heard too much about this game, and I haven't really seen like too much gameplay, but I mean, it seems like he does. What? Ice Smash? Wow. Okay. That's a new move, and that did a crap ton too. Considering that we're like five levels higher and that didn't even kill. Wow, okay. Uh. Katara. Katara's the only thing that can take a hit, unfortunately. I'm assuming Ice Smash is fighting. It's probably like an HM in this game. Oh my gosh. Oh, great. Okay. Hopefully, a Water Pulse will 2KO this thing. And hopefully, we don't get wrecked by an Ice Smash. I don't think we will, but you never know. What do you guys think of Mega Heracross? Um, oh wow, that didn't do much at all. Okay. Well yeah, what do you guys think of Mega Heracross? Uh, oh my gosh, we did get wrecked. Oh crap. And I deposited my two sacrifices, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I figured like, like I've been doing that a lot, and it's probably getting annoying, so I, should, I figured I should stop. That was a, the last one was a crit, so we should be able to take one more. Yeah. Wow, this Heracross is wrecking me. It's just like destroying my life. Alright, just one more. Jeez. But yeah, as I was trying to say before I got off topic, um, Mega Heracross is pretty cool. Uh, Skill Link is like an interesting ability. Um, and it can be really scary if you get some a few sword stances. I'm not really sure if I like how they lowered its speed though. I mean, it is like super bulky too now, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, shoot, our Pokemon are low on health. And we've got one more battle here. You can always find a good battle in National Park. Yeah, that last guy was owning me with his hair across. Uh, okay, three Pokemon's not so bad. Tens is getting some good experience too, which is nice. 
Technique is commendable. That's all you people say, I swear to god. Uh, let's go explore here, actually. I mean, I'm sure there's an item here. I don't know why else he would carve off this area. Unless he's just like a dick. Which I, w I wouldn't- oh my god, he is a dick. Come on, man! I can't believe he did that. Maybe there is something else here, I just missed it, but like, seriously, dude? Seriously? Like, you're really gonna do that to me? <laughs> That's such, like, <laughs> such a tease. Alright, well, whatever, we're moving on. That item isn't worth it. Nah, we're not going up there, screw that. Dardusk City! Because of its ancient tower and the many ghosts- Oh my gosh, I love ghost-type Pokemon. I'm gonna love this city. <laughs> the reports of people magic are lies. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, alright, let's- I'm gonna go find the Pokemon Center and heal up, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, we're back, and we actually have another gym in the city, which is awesome. Let's check it out. Meter Thomas, oh, what a surprise. Not really. But, you know. Look at the city, city gym. Just, ooh, I like the Miss Magius on the wall. Wait, is there, like, anyone here right now? Oh, there is, okay. So I guess we are taking on- <laughs> This gym is the strongest in Zeri. Yeah, right. You guys are only the fourth gym. But yeah, apparently we are taking this on now. Cool trainer Higor. Okay. We're just gonna bite away at these things. I think we have a decent matchup for this gym, actually, just because Iroh has bite, and um, Tenzin does have stab uh, faint attack, so... And Tenzin can take hits from these things all day. I am kind of afraid, though, if he's using, like, a Dusnor. Um, if the gym leader is using a Death Snore, because that could be problematic. That could definitely be problematic. And also, this puzzle is going to piss me off, because <laughs> I'm terrible with warp panels. As you guys are about to see, I'm going to be wandering around for, like, ever, probably. Wow. Dus Duskull has, like, double the defense that Shubbit does. Because, like, it pretty much did half damage, like, close half damage to Duskull, and, like, just straight up killed that. Uh, ooh, Dusclops. Um, we will stay in. I think we can take this thing. Dusclops is kind of annoying, though. It'll probably take three hits. Yeah. Hopefully get some flinches. Nope. It's just gonna staunch, though, so it clearly does not want to kill us. Obviously. Hopefully get flinch. Nope. Yeah, I mean, luckily Dusclops can't burn us, which is nice, so we have the upper hand. We really need a Firestone too, I always gotta evolve soon. Alright, Tenzin got some experience, level 31. We're gonna need Tenzin as, at as high level as possible. Although I feel like I say that for like every gym now. <laughs> because like our Tenzin toxic strategy is just like always the, the failsafe. Flinch? Ah. Uh, oh well I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna switch out anyway, so that's fine. Alright, let's bite this thing. Now I'm regretting deleting fan attack. <laughs> Off of, uh, Krogunk. Of course, like, the second I delete it, we run into- <laughs> we, run, we run into a Ghost-type gym, so. Did that guy say your technique is commendable, too? Oh my gosh, these people. Okay. Oh, it looks like the trainer pops out from there, okay. They can appear anywhere, okay? I see. So, we don't want to walk across that path if we don't have to. Which makes sense. And these people seem to have four four Pokemon. Well, I guess I shouldn't conclude that they all have four Pokemon just from a sample size of two, but you know. Oh my god. I hate Sableye too. Actually, like Mega Sableye is okay because it doesn't run that st uh, the stupid prankster set, but like prankster Sableye is really annoying. And like when it had no weaknesses in fifth gen, it was terrible. Oh my gosh, that did way too much. Um, yeah, when I had no weakness in 5th gen, it was terrible, because, like, how, how were you supposed to take it down? Alright, perfect. Uh, we should probably switch and, like, give some of our other dudes some screen time. Haunter, uh, yeah, we'll go into Milotic. Maybe I should have gone to, uh, Tenzin, actually. Eh. Zaheer, Zaheer wouldn't have been able to do anything to this thing. Zaheer can't actually do anything to ghost types, now that I think about it. Which sucks. Ooh, we outspent a Haunter. Not bad, Katara. Not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. That did quite a bit of damage. Hopefully it hits itself. Oh, oh Nightshade, dang it. We do have those lefties, though, so that's gonna be nice. Although I do probably want to take it off, because, like, after turn effects get kind of annoying in just normal trainer battles. 
Uh, and we'll twist her. Alright. I am gonna be super under level for this gym leader, huh? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Considering the last gym leader had like level 35 Pokemon, this is just gonna suck. Um, we'll go to Tenzin actually. We're gonna Toxic and uh, Faint Attack combo this thing. I feel like that's our best way of dealing with Dusclops. And uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure the leader's gonna have a Dust Nor, considering the number of Dust Clops we've, we've been seeing. So, yeah, we're just gonna Toxic this thing and then, like, slowly suffocate it between Toxic and Fate Attack. I mean, there's a, that, that's pretty much the best way to defeat Dust Clops, just Toxic it and then, like, slowly wear it down. It's kind of annoying how passive Dust Clops is. It can't really do anything back to the opponent. And, like, especially with a Violet, it's awful with a Violet how bulky this thing is. Please don't heal. I'm begging you not to heal. I do not want to deal with this. Thank you, Tenzin. Thank you. Alright. Now we're done with this thing. Yep. Bye bye, Dusclops. Wow, Tenzin's actually doing some damage with Fane Attack. That's nice to see. Uh, Drift Blim. Oh no. Although we have the perfect Pokemon out to handle this thing. Yeah, Drift Blim gives me nightmares. Stockpile. All these things use is like stockpile and spit up. I mean, those really aren't great moves. Like, you might as well just, like, not use Stockpile and use a move that's, like, as powerful as Spin Up, because there are plenty out there. Alright, Fan Attack. Yeah, Stock- like, there are a lot of moves in Pokemon that are just, like, completely useless. Like, and Stockpile and, like, Spin Up, I feel like, are, are two of those. Although Stockpile does boost defense in later gen, so it does kind of make more sense. Wow, that just quite a bit. Impressive, Tenzin, you're impressing me, I gotta say. We should be able to kill it with his next hit. But yeah, I mean, I, I understand, like, some moves, like, you know, like, Ember being really, like, weak, because it's, like, an early move you get. But then there are some moves that are, like, supposed to be decent and supposed to do something, but they just don't work. I can't really give a good example off the top of my head, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Aren't that strong after all? I totally disagree with you. Ghost-type Pokemon are awesome. In fact, a lot of my favorite Pokemon are Ghost-types, like Chandelure. I love Chandelure. I also really like Cofagrius, um, which is weird, a lot of people tell me. I know, but, you know. Uh, okay. Oh, we're back in the beginning. Great. I'm just gonna, like, enter random ones. Oh, I was waiting for a trainer. Good timing. Player defeated. Cool trainer, Jessica. Your technique is commendable. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we'll wa wander around here in a little bit. For a little bit more. And if I can't find the gym leader, then I'll just, like... Oh my god. Okay guys, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back, heal up, and cut out to me getting to the gym later, because I know you guys don't want to see me struggle through war panels all day, so, see you in a sec. Alright guys, we are finally to the gym later, that took way too long, um, but yeah, I went up and healed, I actually faced another trainer, but I figured I wouldn't include that, just because it was like, it was like really boring, so. Alright, anyway, I think we're gonna leave with Iroh, and let's go ahead and take this guy on. Welcome to the Dardust City Gym, I'll need to fight at full strength to defeat you. Wow, these gym leaders really don't have a lot to say. Which, you know, I kind of miss, you know, those annoying gym leaders that, like, talk for six years. Drift Blim. Oh my gosh, that is a high level. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to switch out into Tenzin, like, right away. No! Oh my gosh. Darn it. Okay. And it's faster than me, which is bad. Growl, you gotta crit this thing. <laughs> We're actually gonna flamethrower, I think. It has a decent amount though, it's not bad. We're gonna have a flamethrower and like, oh my gosh. Wow, really? Uh, if this is gonna keep recovering health, that's gonna be really annoying. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good damage. And he's gonna go to Miss Magius, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a difficult battle, I can tell already. Our best bet is probably to go with Milotic and like, Magical Leaf, okay. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, our best bet is to, like, like go with Milotic and uh, Tenzin with the usual Toxic and Switch Out strategy. Oh, we got a burn. That's super useful. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. I know that the Psywave does, like, random damage, I think. Sulfies so doesn't kill. Perfect. All right, that's one Pokemon out of the way. We got really lucky with that burn. Fl using Flamethrower paid off, though, I guess. I think this will kill. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. This mage is one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I think it's really cool. Alright, Dusnor. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely using the Tenzin strategy here. 
This thing is going to be tough to take down, though. And unlike Dusclops, it can actually, like, hit you back, which is bad. Oh, it's good, that miss. I'm, I'm actually carrying some full heals this time around, because I knew that he was going to start using Hypnosis on me, because it is the Ghost-type gym leader, so. But I prefer not to have to use them, like, immediately right now. Okay, we're just going to faint attack. Oh my gosh. Well, it is going to be taking, like, damage from Toxic, so it can't escape its fate. It's going to die eventually. Although this gym leader probably does have full restores, which is not good. Alright. Ooh, he's going to curse. I am okay with that. I am more than okay with that, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully we wake up here. That would be really nice. Nope, we didn't. Alright, we're going to take a good amount of damage from this, though. Shoot. I'm actually going to Toxic here. Okay, alright. Because I figured we, he was going to die to poison anyway, so it didn't really end up mattering. But yeah, he's not going to heal, which is nice. So, that's Dusnor down. That's two Pokemon down already, which is awesome. Oh, I haven't ranted about Shadow Ball yet, have I? Shadow Ball is a physical move in this game, and it lowers your special defense. Think about that for a second. Think about how stupid that is. Like, what was Game Freak thinking? Just makes no sense. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be so upset about it, but I mean, come on. Okay, we're gonna switch out to... Ooh, probably... Shoot, you know, we're actually gonna let Tenzin die, because uh, I have some revives, and I feel like it's the best way to heal up Tenzin, so... Um, and we're definitely gonna need Tenzin for later, so... Oh, he's just gonna baton pass straight into Gengar. Okay. Interesting. I should have healed up there. Okay. Well, I think our best method of dealing with Gengar... We don't really have a best method of dealing with Gengar, do we? Or, well, we do, but that would be Tenzin, and I just sacrificed Tenzin, so... But yeah, we're gonna heal up Tenzin now. Shoot, if this thing has T-Bolt, it might just wreck my team. I actually think, like, we lose if it has t Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we're gonna revive Tenzin. Hopefully it doesn't have D-Bolt. Nightshade, okay, that's not so bad. Alright, we're actually gonna go into Milotic now, because I want to see if I can bait out the T-Bolt if he does have it. Because if he does have T-Bolt, then we pretty much lose here. Um, there's almost like no point in continuing the battle. No, he doesn't, doesn't look like he does, which is nice. Uh, that, um, <laughs> that Nightshade's gonna be really annoying, though. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, that's not that much. It is. It looks like looks to be a four KO though, and between that confusion and some hyper potions, this thing shouldn't be a problem. And shadow punch isn't gonna do much because Gengar's physical attack is complete piss. All right. Ooh, that's not gonna be a four KO actually. Hmm. I wonder what I want to do here. Shadow punch isn't really gonna do anything. Um, if we could get some confusion axe or like a crit, that would be nice. Alright, I don't want to bring it down into into dark red. So let's just go into Tenzin now. I don't think he can kill us with anything, and then we'll we'll go for a faint attack. Alright. We're gonna heal up and then go for a faint attack, actually. Just cause Nightshade will kill us at this range. Alright. Perfect. Nightshade, yeah, I won't do much. My team do, um, actually counters his team pretty well, I have to say. Hopefully this kills. I mean, Fan Attack is actually pretty powerful. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I hate Confuser so much. It's so annoying. Please don't hit yourself, Tenzin. Please don't hit yourself. I need to get off this hit. Come on, Tenzin, you suck. Okay. We'll try it again. All right, he's going to Shadow Punch, which is fine, because that's not going to do Jack. Yes! Thank you, Tenzin. Good job. Good job, Tenzin. Now just kill this thing. Come on, come on. Yes! Okay. Perfect. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. Nice experience with Tenzin. And Driplim is his last Pokemon. Alright, we're just going to Toxic this thing straight off the bat. I don't think Tenzin will have any problem dealing with this Driplim, so I'd like to say that this gym battle is in the bag, but I don't want to speak too soon. Because whenever I speak too soon, bad stuff happens, so. <laughs> Alright. 
just gonna hit this thing with a ton of faint attacks. Oh, and he's gonna swallow. He's gonna drag out this battle. Uh, just accept your fate. It's over. Pretty impressive that we're beating Pokemon at like level 40 at this stage. If I do say so myself. Alright, as long as it doesn't swallow, this is in the bag. Or, well, I guess he couldn't swallow because he hadn't stockpiled, so it's in the bag. Alright, just one more fan attack, some poison damage, and this battle is over. Ooh, wow, that killed. Not bad. Good work, Tenzin. Play defeat Leo Thomas, and as usual, we get, like, no experience from Driftblade, which is retarded, but, you know. You've just earned the Ghost Badge! Such a creative name, huh? The Ghost Badge. Who would have thought? The Ghost Badge lets you use strength outside of battle to push around large rocks. I have another gift for you. TM30, please tell me that Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball would be very nice. Yes, Shadow Ball! Although it's less useful in this game because it isn't a special move, so... Alright. This guy. Only does City Gen. He's a Ghost Dead. Wait, what? Use Psychic Attacks? Is this guy stupid? That's like the opposite of what you want to do. Well, I mean, Psychic Attacks are neutral, but like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> apparently, apparently they're, they're, uh, the gym guy dude is like conviving, or I don't know how you would say that, but is conniving to uh, to lure unsuspecting traders into using psychic type moves. Alright, let's go heal up. But yeah, we're doing pretty well. We've actually beaten four gyms now. Um, and that, that's definitely not bad. Uh, and a lot of the gym battles have been pretty tough considering we've been facing Pokemon level like 35 and 40. I'm actually surprised that we've been able to beat them. Um, with our with our current team, but Anyways guys, I think that's probably a good place to end it off uh, as usual. Thanks for watching Please feel free to like comment rate and subscribe um, The comment question of the day is what is your favorite first generation Pokemon? Um, like uh, just from so solely from first generation um, if I had to choose um That would be a very difficult decision for me. Uh, Gengar is definitely up there. I love Dragonite as well. Um, but I feel like those are pretty generic choices, so. Anyway guys, let me know what your favorite, uh, first generation Pokemon is, and I will see you in the next episode of Light Platinum.